some, yeah. sometimes sometimes mm. you I think if this agreement is not is not put in place for the next one and a half months, two months, I think we'll, we'll see this the, the opportunity for that missing, uh, being being lost. Uh, I, I I'm very confident that uh, uh, as we stand, the Zanu of government cannot deal with any one of the issues of the benchmarks of dealing with the people's problems. Mm -hmm. uh, so. It's a very narrow uh, opportunity for us. A collapsed scenario is, is very dangerous for the country uh, because you are not able to deal with the basic needs of the people. Um, and, 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 and the possibility of chaos and a spontaneous reaction because people have nothing uh, is very, very high every day that passes without this agreement being implemented. And that's my fear. Uh, we have always cautioned our people that violence is not a solution, uh, that we have come this far pursuing change through democratic means, and that we should see it through. Mm -hmm. But uh, be as may circumstances may detect behavior, mm -hmm. uh, to the extent that we may not be able to control the emotions of the people. For about a year now. Mm -hmm. Have you been here before? Are you I'm American. Mm -hmm. We actually faced, uh, faced a, a catastrophic situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, in terms of food, uh, we believe that by January we need to feed over five and a half million people, uh, and that's that's almost three quarters of the adult population. Mm -hmm. um, our hospitals have just over the last two three weeks have shut down because there are no doctors, there are no medicines in there, and 90 percent of the schools have just uh, shut down because the teachers are not able to attend the schools. That is the extent of the humanitarian crisis we face. And uh, it has deteriorated to alarming levels at the moment. Mm -hmm.